Hey there, it's JP1970. We're gonna go for a ride. I got some really good news yesterday. I had to take my 13 and a half year old pug to the vet, fully prepared to put him down because the little guy just isn't getting around so good. Here, I'll put a picture of him right here. This is a little Popeye and uh, take a look at him. Yeah, he just, just has a hard time walking. And, uh, but as my vet has told me, we don't put them down just because they get old. I mean, he's still got some life in him and he just needs a little bit more of my help these days. So, I was very happy that it wasn't time to send the little guy over the rainbow bridge just yet. So, with any luck, he'll make it to 14. Some folks, I hear, their pugs make it to 15 years old. It's amazing to me. So, uh, yeah, they're just, uh, they're really great little companion dogs, and I sure love the heck out of mine. That's little Popeye. So, anyway, yeah, good news, good news, good news. So, more good news. I am, uh, I'm winding down the school year. I'm a school teacher. I'm a high school English teacher of all things. Yeah, that's what I do Monday through Friday. So, uh, so I'm winding that down, and... Looking forward to a little time off this summer. And I don't really have anything uh, planned yet, but but I typically don't plan things. I kind of like to, uh, I mean, I plan all year long. So when the summer rolls around, I like to kind of be a little bit spontaneous, kind of, kind of uh, take things as they come. But what I'm thinking is I'd like to ride my bike to the coast. I'd like to take this thing, this thing, I think I'd take this, not my KLR. Love my KLR, but my KLR is not exactly the let's get out and take a, a long tour kind of bike. It's more of, more up, more for up in the hills, more, uh, more for, I kind of do more local kind of riding on it. But this thing was made to crush the miles. So, so we'll see. Maybe I could, uh, take a three-day trip over to San Francisco that's only what is it about 10 hours from here that's not too bad that's doable just leave northeastern Nevada here where I live and uh, head towards Reno and drop on over to Sacramento and then on to the Bay Area which would be cool get over there and see old boots and jeans riders see rich and cake that would be pretty cool all right i'm gonna stop and get some gas here and we will see what's going on here get some get some petrol in this thing i don't even know how much gas is these days i know everybody's all worked up about it and i don't uh i don't know Shoot, it costs what it costs, right? I'm gonna pay it. What am I gonna do, not pay it? Just take my bicycle? Don't think so. All right, here we go, how much? How much, I put 88 in this one, 4.99, so five bucks a gallon. All right, I'm gonna pay it. I am gonna pay it. So let's do that. Okay, so here we are, and we're going to be heading up that way, and uh, we're going to Angel Lake today. Hey, look. Look what I see. Some cows. Should we go say hi? Look at them. Look at them all over there, wondering what the heck I'm doing. Look at that guy. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, it's good to be out on this bike. I love this bike. Don't, uh, don't let the KLR fool you. This is my bike I ride when I want to crush the miles. Okay, so we'll say goodbye to the cows. We'll get back on our way to Angel Lake. Here we go. Let's 
so I'll tell you I can't I just can't stop thinking about that new uh, that new drone from DJI the DJI Mini 3 I know some people I've read in some of the comments haven't heard anything about it how is that possible how is that possible I'm not saying you must be living under a rock but you must not be into drones I guess uh, ooh, look at that okay well anyway that was just a random thought so here we go on to Angel Lake We are getting there. We're going up in elevation. Up in elevation, it's a Nevada thing. Yeah, these roads, there's rocks all over. So you really have to kind of be careful. Still early in the riding season and there's still snow on the ground up here, obviously. Yeah, see these rocks out in the road. Just have to look out. I think we're getting close to the final stretch. Look at this. Look at all this snow up here still. That was Angel Lake up here in northeastern Nevada. So just out for a ride. In case you're wondering where the snow is, look, it's right here. In case you missed it. I uh I do not miss it, and I'm looking forward to getting back down to lower elevation. Yeah, that is that Angel Lake back there where we just were, where it was all uh, frozen over still and uh, covered with snow. That is a very popular summer destination. A lot of people like to go there to fish and swim and jump off the cliffs and whatnot. So anyway, but certainly not yet. Not yet and probably not anytime real soon. I think Memorial Day weekend is... Uh, you know what? I don't even know if it'll be ready then, actually, quite frankly. So, yeah, so we're just going to take it easy coming down here. Look at that. It's a different kind of beauty, folks. Yeah, I like these birds drafting off the side of this the face of this cliff. All right, and back down to warmer weather, normal elevation, or more normal elevation. Getting away from the snow, and we're getting back down. Still far above sea level, but... Uh, but we're getting our way back down. Get making our way back down. Thanks for checking out this video, everybody. This is JP1970. Just out for a ride. I hope you're enjoying your ride wherever you are. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you riding yet? If so, where? Where the where's the best riding to be found? It's not quite here yet. It's not warm enough, but uh, but it will be soon. So take care everybody. This is JP1970 and I will see you in the next one.